Good evening, everybody. Once again, uh, delivering a daily devotional thought uh, from a unique location. Uh, family and I are enjoying a little vacation time, and uh, as we sit here in the parking lot uh, restaurant, uh, just wanted to share a couple thoughts with you to try and encourage you to try to be, uh, try to uplift you, I guess, to try to motivate you today. Uh, so here's the thing today. So Ephesians chapter 4 is where we are. Ephesians chapter 4. And we looked at, on a Sunday, that's the morning, a couple of Sundays ago, we looked at from Ephesians 4, the idea of the one, the unity, the idea of together. And so what we missed was that striving together, that's Sunday night when we looked at it specifically, striving together towards that goal. We talked about serving in Christ, we talked about having a purpose, all the things that we talked about. We said that Ephesians 4 reminds us how fortunate we are that we all are pulling in the same direction, working together. The other thing to notice in Ephesians 4 is when you get down uh, beneath the, the one that you're getting out of verse 11 and following, you notice that Paul talks about the reason why we all have to stay together. And that is in verse 14. He says that, we, that we're longer taught about to and fro the ways of this world, by things that are going on in the world, that we are working to grow together, to mature together, to, to be equipped for the things that are coming, the, the, the days that are coming. Now, the reason why I'm that up is for this reason. It's really hard in the world today. It's really difficult in the world today. It's really difficult to... Make your stand, take your stand today, or when it comes to Christianity, but it doesn't seem like in a lot of ways the world is sort of pulling against you. It's sort of, uh, you know, there's a lot of things about, you know, we talked briefly back a few weeks ago about the idea of this, the idea of absolute truth just lost in a bunch of our society, and we talked about that during our Christian study. But it's difficult in the world right now, specifically because uh, we don't see enough of the church taking leadership role in the things that are going on in the world. And I'm not saying that there are people that are pleased to read this, who try to add to what I'm saying. I'm not meaning exactly what I say. We're not seeing enough of members of the church who are taking over leadership roles and trying to lead as Christ would have to lead. We're not seeing enough servant leadership in our government. We're not seeing enough servant leadership in, in, in all our homes, to be quite honest, even in school systems. Or, we're just not seeing that. Now, I'm not saying it's not happening. We're just not seeing it. And so there, there is sort of a world around this sort of negativity concerning religion at large. It's a, bit, it's a really big umbrella word, but even harder when you feel like those that are supposed to be with you, supporting you, helping you, are nitpicking or taking shots at you or maybe working against you in some way, that makes things even harder. And so because of that, when you start noticing that the world makes things difficult, you start noticing that the world at large seems to be against what it is you're trying to do and trying to live out, and then you go to the people that are supposed to be your supporters and supposed to be your rocks that get laid on and you feel like they don't support you, it becomes nearly impossible. We won't say it's impossible, but nearly impossible. So when we read Ephesians chapter 4 there, and Paul's talking about all those ones, he talks about the need for unity, and he's talking about why it's so important for us to stick together and be together and grow up and mature. And there's a reason why he's talking about that. It's because doing this on your own, maybe it's possible for a small percentage. Oh, and whole on the big picture, trying to live a life like Christ would in the world by yourself, Said maybe there's a small percentage that can do it, but for the vast, the vast majority, it's, it's really difficult, almost impossible. So the truth of the matter is this: we need each other. I need you, you need me, and in the quicker that we figure that out, hold on to that, and we promote that in our congregations, in our communities, in our homes, the better for all of us. So let's make this as practical as we go. If it is your decision, I'll just put that use that word. If it's your uh, movement in life. To consistently try to find the negative, you need to understand you are not promoting unity, not promoting togetherness. As a matter of fact, you're actually promoting the exact opposite. We got issues going on in the world. We need to try to attack each other and fight each other. That, that's just that's a misery way to happen. On a practical basis, if, if you're coming to meet with fellow Christians and your only discussion, as it were, is the thing that's wrong, <laughs> I mean, if you honestly say you're promoting unity, if you are coming to uh, a meeting with your in business world, look at from that from a real world uh, day to day standpoint. If you went to every business meeting, you said, "Okay, we don't care about anything positive or growth involved. We just want to talk about all things that are wrong with this company." I just know that you can ask it wrong, and it makes it very, very difficult for us Christians when we get together if all we focus on is everything's wrong. Let this be encouraged. Maybe a chance for some of us to. Be grateful and thankful for the opportunity that we have to be together as a church family, as a family of God. Be thankful for those people. From unity among those people. Support those people. Pray for those people. Love those people. Don't wait for somebody to come with a program for you to get involved. You can do it really simply. You've got a phone in front of you. Take somebody from our church today right now and say, I was just thinking.
looking at you. I hope you're having a great day. You would be amazed at how many people would absolutely, maybe burst into tears because they would think, man, somebody finally is checking on me, looking out for me. Be challenged, be encouraged, be a Christian. Love you, can't wait.